Hey, honey. Couldn't sleep either? Mom, um, what are you doing here? Well, I usually like to walk home after a meeting, you know, stop here, get an herbal tea, and hope that I can get tired enough to sleep. Well, Will's parking the car. He'll be in in a minute. Honey, don't drink the coffee, all right? You look tired, you look spent here. I'm fine, Mom. No, I know that you're fine, but look, you look stressed out, okay? I know that you're so upset about what's happening to Carly. You know, it's probably better if we don't talk about Carly. I know. I said a lot of terrible things about her before. But now, let he who walks without sin yada, yada, right? You really went to a meeting, huh? Yeah, yeah, I, I found a, a group here that I feel really comfortable. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad for you. Yeah, and, you know, a good walk afterwards is what I love also. It's pretty uh, awful outside. You must be freezing. Well, yeah, at least it's not icy. I mean, that kind of scares me a little bit. Well, if you ever need a ride. Oh, sweetie. You know, that is so you. You're always looking out how you can help someone else. I know how you can help me. How's, how is that, Mom? Tell me what I can do to help you. All right, I would love to help you with Carly's kids, honey. And Mom. look, uh, together, okay? I, I, I know that... You wouldn't trust me with them alone. Oh, maybe. And you always just put everything on your own shoulders, and I always let you do it. Look, maybe. Okay, I'll talk to Jack. Ask Come him on. what their schedule is. I mean, it would be fun, you know? You look after the kids, and, and I could tidy up and bake and do the laundry. And You're not a cleaning lady, Mom. I would be if that's what you need me to be, honey. Just, just, as long as we do it together. What a surprise. Iris with her hand out. She was just walking home from the meeting. Yeah, well, here's a little information for you. It's over, okay? There, there's nothing for you, Iris. I, I don't know what you're even... There's no money left. Is that clear enough? Oh, well, so what it, it was nice chatting with you, and don't trip on your way out. Honey, are you... Are you all right? And if we're not, are you going to float us alone, Iris? You know I would if I could. Well, we're fine. It's just that the, the CD used up what was left of the money. So there's nothing left for a handout. Uh, I wasn't asking for a handout. I was here, in fact, asking Gwen if she needed some help. Mm -hmm. Well, it's too bad you can't leave because of your parole, because that would really be the most helpful thing you could do. Uh, sweetie, I know that you're just trying to protect Gwen, but she needs me. Right now, you see, she's very worried about her sister, and, and well, I'm family. I mean, don't you comfort the people in your family, even though you've made a mistake or two? It's very nice, Iris. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I, I, I didn't mean it. It just came out wrong. Did it just come out wrong when you lied about your sister being dead, or when you trashed one in L.A.? Look at you. Just look at you. Okay, you don't even let her talk. Right? We're here. We're making plans. And you just roll right over everything. Come on, Gwenny. Tell him. Tell him that I was just asking you if I could help you. Well, I don't. I don't know what you're trying to do, Mom. Okay, but I do know that I always wanted to be a part of a family. Oh, honey. Yes, that's what I want. I want it for us. Yes, and that's what you used to get to me over and over again. Sweetie, we can change that one day at a time. It's already changed, Mom. I am a part of the family now. Will gave me that. He gave me something that you never could. Let's get out of here. Will Munson without money? <laughs> Useless. <laughs> 